otherwise figure out what's causing this physics reaction when it shouldn't be happening. So since we're doing everything with the physics engine, there are times when we're going to want to turn off our physics engine to prevent that kind of behavior. So we're going to make a function here called toggle physics. And this is going to take a bool is on. Or, yeah, that's fine. And we're just going to loop through our list of gems. Uh, what did I call it? Call it gems. And we're going to turn off physics pretty much. Uh, gems dot uh, rigid body. Oh yeah, sub i dot rigid body dot and we can just toggle. We can just say this is all right. So we can't just toggle it off. We can say that it's kinematic though, and that will turn it off. And kinematics only works between forces. So if we're swapping, we're going to toggle off physics. I'm going to turn it off, or yeah, turn it on. There we go. And then after we finish, we're going to turn it off. And so now they don't bounce or do any of that weird stuff. But, alright. Still need to like turn them off properly. But it is getting better. And you can see that they're going through each other. So if we take a look and we move they're not moving far enough apart so that they're still moving through each other so we're going to have to fix that mm -hmm. uh, let's change some of these values Shouldn't be going in a straight line. Hmm. Alright, so the way to fix this is to add the two together, not subtract the two. Okay. There we go. And now they rotate around each other. not too bad of a swapping system and after we swap we need to toggle off some other stuff so let's get to that point so we finish swapping we're going to turn off swapping we're going to say our last gem is null since we just swapped our current oh yeah. so our last gem is null and we also want to toggle off gem one dot selector dot is Set active false gem two dot selector set active is false. And after they swap finishes. So it's close. It's not matching or anything yet, but it is um, working on it. So we need to fix that. We shouldn't be using this. We should be saying toggle. Since these selectors are on, we should toggle the selectors off.
Alright, that looks better. And if one selected, let me just click over here. But now you can also swap while we're in motion with another gem. And that does create a large uh, issue, as you can see. So we need to prevent clicking when the board is moving or is swapping. So to do that, we're going to check to see if is swapping is toggled. And if it's not swapping, then we'll say that we can swap gems. So it doesn't let us swap until a gem is swapping, but we can still click because I forgot to put the toggle in. Okay. So now can't click anywhere else until the gems finish swapping. Um, so that's going to be it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching and I will be back later with how to actually do the matching logic. Thanks.